Hey, what's going on guys? DB back here with another video for you and this time we're doing what's the deal with. For this what's the deal? What's the deal with conventions? You know how this would go down. I talk about what I know about conventions, the background history to them, and then how I feel about them. And then I'm going to ask you guys what you think about conventions. So let's start off with the definition. Conventions or convention, assembly, conference, convocation, name meanings for particular purposes. Convention usually suggests a meeting of delegates representing political, church, social, fraternal, or fraternal organizations. Assembly usually implies a meeting for a settled or customary purpose as for discussion, legislation, or participation in a social function, a conference. So, that's pretty much what a convention is, and that is, yeah, I can't say anything about that. But, us as fans, fandom, nerds, geeks, however you want to call it, what do we think of conventions? Well, usually conventions are a get-together of someone, well, a group of someones that love a particular genre of film, television, comic books, anime, manga, anything like that. So uh, I guess I'll start off with what I learned about uh, conventions in the beginning. I looked up a little bit about conventions and uh, the first convention was actually in America in New York. This happened from July 2nd to July 4th, 1939, and it was in conjunction with the New York uh, World Fair. This was known as the first World Science Fiction Convention, Worldcon, and it was later renamed to NYCon or Nikon, something like that. It had about 200 participants, and it was pretty much the forefront to all conventions science fiction and everything so I talked about science fiction in my last what's to deal with so this one being conventions has a lot to do with them you notice that there is a big culture for science fiction and you know anything type of nerd most of it comes from conventions it's pretty much the gathering place I guess you could call the the church of nerds when they all gather together and they talk about a subject, they meet people that are very influential in that subject. Sometimes they do costuming, known as cosplay, and sometimes they have, I guess, previews for other things that are coming out that will interest these individuals. Like they'll have previews for TV shows, for movies. You have a lot of that at um, some of the bigger conventions. And some of the big conventions that are around the world Japan has them, Comic Cat, they have their comic mar other comic markets. Comic Cat is actually held two times a year. They have conventions in Australia, they have conventions in uh, Great Britain, they have conventions here in America. Some of the big ones are New York Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con, Wizard World, all types of conventions. I could go on and list a good number of them. And it's not just comic con. You know, they have ones for every single type of genre you could think of. Like I said before, doc they have sci-fi conventions, sci-fi conventions specifically for Star Wars, specifically for Doctor Who, specifically for Star Trek. I, I could literally go on and on about the list of conventions. Uh, some of the forerunners with conventions, looking up Forrest J. Ackerman, who was big into the science fiction community during the early 30s and everything like that and his uh, girlfriend at the time Myrtle R. Douglas also known as Morojo who was who together they were editors of Fanzine which was a fan science fiction magazine and the funny thing about those two guys well her and him they were actually the first to cosplay at a sci-fi convention. They just wore uh, like futuristic sci-fi uh, costumes. So 
you could say that they are the grandmother and grandfather of cosplaying which I'm going to talk about in another what's to deal with but right now we're talking about co uh, conventions so let me bring up a little bit about my backstory with conventions I've been I guess I started with conventions in about when I came out of high school I didn't know that much about it I wasn't really like a uh, I was still accepting my nerdum and everything like that so I didn't really get into conventions until right after high school. I remember the first convention I went to was Anime Man Atlantic which is in Chesapeake, Virginia and after that yeah I even cosplayed my first convention as Hiei from Yu Yu Hakusho since I had a lot of hair then and it was a pretty simple easy cosplay to do. After that I started going to NecoCon, which is another local convention here in the uh, Hampton Roads area of Virginia. I've been to conventions as far north as KatsuCon. I've been to conventions, not many conventions in the south, but um, I've been to local conventions that they've held at libraries, ones that they've held in other convention uh, hall areas such as Tidewater Comic Con most recently. I've also been to San Diego Comic Con which I guess you could call the kind of mecca of comic conventions at least in the East Coast or well, at least in the uh, Western states you know Comic Con is San Diego Comic Con is the big pretty much showcase for conventions and for anything comic book related, fan related. They have things from anime, they have science fiction, so much stuff there. TV, movies, it's just it's just so much, so much there. Video games, everything you could think of. But um yeah, I've been to a lot of conventions within the last 10 years. Uh, I can't say I'm a aficionado about them, but I do know that, yeah, conventions, I like them. I like going to them. I like the atmosphere. I like the people. You meet so many people at conventions. You meet lifelong friends, people that you've, that you only see for maybe a couple of minutes or whatever but they leave a, a long lasting impression on you I know some people that they've met their uh, significant others at conventions two of my best friends they met their wives at conventions so you can really meet anyone at conventions and it's a very good place to socialize with people and feel like you're not you know alienated you feel yourself if you're if you were ever uh, like ridicule as a kid growing up for being a nerd or you know being geeky or whatever like that then this is the place for you conventions any type of fan conventions they're the place for you if you like something and you've got a niche for something these type of conventions are for you so with that I'm going to ask you what do you think about conventions do you like them do you love them have you been to any? If you haven't been to any, try to look some up in your area. Try to see if you can find any local conventions. You know, if you want to start off small, go to one at a library or go to one that's in like a, you know, a small convention center and then work your way up to, you know, get to a, a bigger one that's maybe across the country, maybe even across the world. So this has been DB from the Backroom Crew. And I will see you guys next time. Remember, social class, act like you've been somewhere before. Peace.